New details from that deadly shooting inside a Texas church. The service was being live streamed when a man there at the top opens fire, killing two people before he was shot by a member of that church. Jack Wilson is that hero congregant. Tonight he is speaking out about what he had to do. And we are learning more about the gunman who did not survive the attack. ABC's Marcus Moore is on the scene. Tonight, six seconds of terror, capturing the moments lives were shattered and dozens more saved. Jack Wilson seen here firing a single shot, killing the gunman before he could harm anyone else. I don't feel like I'm a hero. I was doing what I needed to do to protect the people of the congregation. And I, you know, in the same scenario, I would do it again. The split-second decision stopping an attack that erupted in the middle of Sunday morning service at the West Freeway Church of Christ near Fort Worth. The church live streaming the service. In the video, you see the alleged shooter, Keith Kanan, get up from the back of the room. He appears to say something to a deacon and then pulls out a shotgun. His left hand never was visible, so I'm assuming at this point that the shotgun was, you know, was in his pocket with all the way up under his armpit. The gunman opened fire, hitting and killing 67-year-old Richard White and 64-year-old Tony Wallace. Wallace's grandson was in the sanctuary at the time. Gunman stood up and turned around to him, so probably like three feet away from my papa. It's kind of like heartbreaking, but sometimes you got to be strong about it and just keep on going. Authorities say the shooter seen here from a prior arrest has had run-ins with law enforcement in the past, but they have not figured out a motive for the attack. Kanan is described as a transient, but why he would take aim at innocent people at a church is a mystery. There were more than 200 people in the room at the time. At least six people drew their own weapons in the moments after the shooting. Wilson trained the church's volunteer security team and no doubt saved countless more lives with his quick thinking action. I see myself as doing what needed to be done to take out the evil threat. And Marcus Moore joins us live from the scene once again. Marcus, this congregation had been training for active shooter situations ever since a new law there was passed. Yeah, that's right. With the law passed just a few months ago, allows people to bring guns into places of worship. And this church's volunteer security team was formally organized after that law passed. The state's attorney general has called this church a model and wit. Once again, praise that hero parishioner for stopping this attack that lasted just six seconds. As you pointed out, could have been a lot worse. Marcus Moore, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.